Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kirsty and I'm a mom of four and you might be able to hear some of my kids because I have three at home today. I have Hayden upstairs in his bedroom and Evie in her bedroom and Esme's in my bedroom. So as you can tell by the thumbnail, unfortunately I tested positive with COVID. Um, I'm actually on my last day of isolation so I can leave the house tomorrow which is amazing. I feel a lot better now. Um, I will discuss like the symptoms that I had and how I felt. At the moment Hayden is in his room um, with Covid. He's a little after me. Um, he can't leave the house I think it's the 5th of October. Oh my sky can't make her mind up one minute she wants to be inside the next minute she wants to be outside so i'm just gonna go and let sky in so i'm actually not sure where i got it from i went out for my sister's birthday um for a meal at miller and clara's a really nice meal felt absolutely fine the next day i went to Lidl. i felt cold there and i actually told my parents oh it's freezing in Lidl. but now looking back I'm guessing I felt cold for a reason. The only other symptom at that time was my voice sounded like I had a cold, but apart from that, I felt absolutely fine. And um, the week before I actually took a COVID test because um, I'd had a little cough and stuff. And I feel like every time you have something, now you're like, oh God, I've got to check this COVID. And it came back negative. So it kind of put me like, well, I'm not gonna test for just sounding like I have a cold. Um, and I was absolutely fine apart from that. So it wasn't until a few days later and Esme wasn't feeling that great, but COVID didn't even cross my mind at all, especially thinking of her age and that. So it didn't even cross my mind. I spoke to my mum, I said, look, I've, I've only just started this job. I'd really appreciate it if you have Esme whilst I go to work. My mum wasn't happy with that because since we've been back from holiday, all of us have had like illnesses on and off. So she really didn't want another illness, which is fair enough. And then my sister's fiance decided to take a lateral flow test and he sent it to us and it was positive. So that made me think, oh, okay, right. Um, well, I'm just gonna take one then and see what it says. I'm not thinking anything of it at all. And mine came back positive. So we all decided to book PCR tests. I asked for mine in the post just because I wanted mine for my, me and Esme and I didn't think that she would be able to do it good in a car. I can hear it jumping on my bed now so she can see, absolutely fine. <laughs> so my sister and her partner's results came back first and they were both negative. So now I'm thinking, okay, this is weird. Maybe I don't have it. But at the same time, I felt as if when I had the vaccine, I felt a little bit like that. So I was kind of doubting myself. Um, and then me and Esme received our PCR results. Esme's came back negative, I got hers first, and then I'm like, okay, this is really strange. Um, she was, she's been with me, she had the temperature, she had the same sort of things that I had. And then I finally got mine through and mine was positive. So I was kind of relieved in a way because I kind of knew, but then I was almost doubting myself, but it definitely was COVID what I had. And to be honest, when I got the result is like the worst I felt. Um, the symptoms that I felt was really hot every time I moved or anything. I just felt like I kept getting hot flushes for no reason. Just really hot all the time, um, but no temperature. I didn't get a temperature, just felt like literally as if I'm sweating up all the time and it was really bizarre um also someone said about the red eye and I went and checked my eye and I did have like red around that bit of the eye so that is a symptom and it was true with me anyway um no cough um maybe on a a couple of days later I started to when I breathed it felt a little bit heavy but not very much and then it would make me cough a little bit um, just sounding like I have a cold that was the main thing and my head felt fuzzy like it's not an illness that I felt before um, it's not it wasn't like a headache I did have a headache in a few days later though um, but it wasn't a headache it was more it's really hard to explain but it was just the feeling of like 
almost dizziness and weirdness in your head. It was all in my head, it felt. Um, but yeah, that was my symptoms. Apart from that, I was pretty fine and I really think that having those two jabs really did help me because when I did have the vaccines, I did suffer quite bad with it. So I, I honestly feel like I'm glad that I had them and that it didn't affect me that bad because I had them. So I'm happy with that. Um, so the next day after me finding out, Hayden then wakes up and says, oh, my head hurts. My, my throat feels a little bit weird. I'm like, right, lateral test, please. And that came back positive. And then his PCR came back positive as well. And I don't feel like I, I get that close to Hayden. I'm probably more close to the girls. Um, as in like, just because he's a teenage boy and he's always up in his room and he's been at school and stuff. So, but yeah, so now he is off. Um, with COVID, but he's staying in his room. I'm taking his meals up to him. Obviously, it's easier for him, but I can't. I couldn't do that. I have to be a mum. I have to try and keep the house together. Um, so I, I wouldn't have been able to do that anyway. But I've been testing this morning. We tested the girls, and they're all okay. Uh, so they're expected to go to school now, which is really, really tough. I've been so, so lucky because um, my best friend has helped me come pick up Lexi and took her to school because it's also the school that I work at so I don't want to, um, and I've only just started in September, I really don't want to let them down and I feel awful, um, the fact that I have to stay off as well, but obviously I don't want to spread it to anybody. But Esme, there was no way I could have got her into school so she's had to stay off um, with me. I really do think that's a rubbish rule how they expect your child to go to school if you've got COVID and you're on your own. Like, I don't understand why that is a big thing. Um, if you've got to stay home, then they shouldn't expect your child to be in school if you've got no way of getting them to school. But anyway, it's almost over now, so I finally get back to normal. Um, Hayden will obviously be staying at him isolating. I will be making sure that the girls have lateral flow tests to make sure that they don't catch it. Um, so they will be having lateral flow tests basically every day. And I've been um, getting the Dell out everywhere, making sure everything's nice and clean. I'm keeping Esme in my room now so she's out of the way because I'm hoping that now that I've got it, I've double jabbed and I've got it so I should have really good immunity now, I'm hoping anyway. So she's in my room out of the way, I'm trying to keep Evie out of the way because finally everything's happening in one week and it's so lucky because I come out of isolation tomorrow which is Tuesday, which is the date of Evie's pediatrician appointment so thank you so much for letting me get over this in time to go to that um i don't know if i said but i did a lateral test this morning and it came negative which is amazing because I, I actually thought it would be positive for ages after but mine came back negative so um go do another one tomorrow as well and i'm also like i don't have any symptoms now um so I'm pretty sure I'm fine to go tomorrow, which is amazing. So Evie's got her paediatrician appointment, which was the same one which she had at two years, six months, but they wanted to wait till she was three, just so she's a little bit older, to make sure that it's not just an age thing and to not make a wrong diagnosis because she's too young. And then also on Wednesday, it's going to a panel to see whether she gets an EHCP. I think I've said that the right way, I sometimes get them muddled up. But yeah, so that is exciting, like things are actually happening. So her preschool have been amazing and her new um, key worker is just the best and she comes out and gives me all the information and stuff. And she's been um, gathering information and evidence to give them, she's had such short notice because they've literally let her know like the end of last week that they're going to panel about it. And this is big because obviously Evie starts school next September. So to have this would be amazing. Um, and then also on Thursday, there's a lady coming out for an hour with Evie at preschool and they're gonna assess her there as well. So this week is a big week for Evie and I'm just praying everything goes right. I had the lady ring me this morning to confirm my appointment and ask me, have you been in contact with anyone in 14 days? And I told, I did, I, I was honest. I said my isolation period finishes tomorrow 
and she said that's fine just can we please do a lateral test in the morning and I said that's absolutely fine I'll do it in front of you if you want please just let me have this appointment and she said no that's fine they just had other families who didn't and then they had to close down and stuff so yeah I'm super super happy and excited and I feel like everything's just come at once feel like I haven't done one of these videos in ages I did the holiday vlogs but obviously that holiday I was very late uploading that holiday we went on on the last week of not the last week the week before the last week of august so it was a long time ago if not just come back from holiday and got covid um we've had another illness before then <laughs> but i feel like everyone's now took off like because we've been wearing masks social distancing washing our hands hand gel everything i feel like now it's more relaxed and people are taking off the masks and everything people are just catching everything that they didn't catch and our immune systems like aren't used to it we like we're just getting everything now and i just feel like there's so much going around that people are just constantly ill my mom's fed up with being ill she's like you know, just stop giving me stuff um so yeah fingers crossed now things get better and i will obviously do an update with evie as soon as i know anything more i will go upstairs and have a word with hayden and see how he's feeling see what symptoms he's got hayden is 13 and goes to secondary school so um yeah i think he's loving the fact that he doesn't have to go to school i don't think it's a bad thing I think he is kind of getting bored of being in his room, which is weird because he likes being in there. Wait, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Why? I've been expecting. <laughs> How are you feeling? Um, this is the COVID bad. room, got the windows open. Why are you in the COVID room? But, well, I've already got it, so I'm all right. <laughs> I'm over <laughs> it now, so I should be fine. So okay. what... Um, how are you feeling? What Good. symptoms? Oh. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. That's just... No. Don't put that in. <laughs> what do you feel? What are, you, what are your symptoms? Horrible. Why? What do you feel like? Explain Headache. It. Just... Bad throat. My taste is bad. I don't know about my smell. Yeah. You said you couldn't smell that bit. Uh, well, I said I could mm, smell it. Yeah. Actually, that is... I forgot to mention about taste and smell. So... The kids kept saying to me, oh my god, the house stinks, oh it's disgusting, I couldn't smell a thing. I went right up to Evie's nappy and couldn't smell it, I actually stuck my nose in and I couldn't smell it. And they're like, mum it stinks, change it. So they had to tell me every time Evie had a poo nappy because I didn't know. And that's shocking, so I'm praying that my smell does come back. It's really weird because some things taste okay and some things don't. Like my coffee tastes disgusting, which is annoying because I love my coffee. And, but other things taste absolutely fine. So I don't really know what's going on there and hopefully it all goes back to normal. But Hayden, yeah, you couldn't smell the Vicks, could you? And that's another thing. When I like had this cold, I put loads of Vicks on and I was like, it's not working, I can't smell it. And then it started burning where I put so much on, but I thought it was gone off because I couldn't smell it. So yeah, it's a really weird symptom of COVID. But anything else? Uh, no, not really. No, but you're not feeling like you've got to be in bed how are you so you're okay with that yeah sorry i'll let you get back to your game now because clearly it's so important but yeah, you're <laughs> yeah not, it's the only thing i can do you're not dying in bed are you you're just no. just feel a bit poop yeah, yeah pretty much i can't leave my room ever so that well, is no fun. it's just because we don't want the other girls to get it do we so you've been having room service haven't you yeah <laughs> you're not enjoying that then no uh no no i'm enjoying the room service evie hello what are you doing? You've been watching your iPads. Have you got chocolate chops? Have you got chocolate chops? If you had a Kinder Egg. Evie, do you have school tomorrow? <gasps> are you excited? You're gonna go back to school. Mummy can finally oh. take you. Wow, is that what you got in your Kinder Egg? Fox. Oh. Wow. Evie, would you like some lunch? Yeah, what do you want for lunch? Mm. What would you like? Mm. Do you want a drink? No? Mm. Do you want a sandwich? Mm. Yeah? Jam? Mm. Jam? Mm. Yeah or no? Would you like a uh, cucumber? Yeah or no? Yeah? 
and some juice. Yeah? What else did you like? What else do you want, Evie? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Is that hungry? Are you thirsty? Do you want a drink? Evie! Would you like a drink? Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm going to see Esme. Excuse for the laundry. I'm trying to put it away. I'm a day late. But it doesn't matter because I've only got one child at school, haven't I, at the moment? So Daddy came and bought, dropped off some things for you, didn't he? Yeah, I have a new Polly Pocket and Polly's a mermaid oh, and, wow. and she has a braid and... You and love Polly Pocket, don't you? Yeah, I love all of these. Um, and and you got, why did you get a Polly Pocket for? What did you do which was really good? Um, did the test. You did a, a lateral flow test and you more know you've done PCR tests and lateral flow tests. You've done loads. I done three. Wow. You've been a really good girl, haven't you? Yeah. So, look at that then. What what happens? What can you do with it? Um, I open a pearl and then um, I put her in here and then she asked for the shark to help and then the shark did help and then she was free. Oh, wow. You're very lucky, aren't you? Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this little update from us. Um, we will be getting a proper schedule and uploading some more because this is definitely my favourite time of the year and I can't wait for October to begin, all the Halloween stuff, and then it's going to be Vlogmas. So, great time of the year and you'll definitely be seeing more from us. So, I uh, hope you like this update and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, look after yourselves. Give me your strength and show me your weakness We're in this together now We're in this together now Give me your love and tell me your secrets Cause we're in this together now